Hey, John, are you fucking awake? No! It's after work. I know! Wants to do a beer review. Uh, grab that bottle opener, man, and let's introduce this son of a bitch. Uh, ZFG Beer Reviews back at ya. Um, hashtag bangers, hashtag gushers. This is not an IPA! It's like the exact opposite yeah. of an IPA. Yeah, well, we're gonna review. It's from a little known brewery. Yeah, you kind probably of small. have not heard of it before. Hardcore <laughs> Wales, man. You see that stone logo? Stone wooched out. 3.0. Trace. Trace? Wait. Trace. Ah, yes. No? Wait. Wait. Yeah! Too dumb to live. <laughs> Anyways, it's 13.5, I want to say. 13 even. 13 even. Anyways, that's odd number. God. Uh, so yeah, it's a 25% bourbon barrel aged stout blended with fresh beer with rye, pecans, um, coconuts, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Let's dive into it. That sounds like something we would like. Pretty see-through pour, I guess. Stone-esque. You know, I like my, me some IRS, but um, I don't know. It, it, it does generally sit. goes pretty quick around here. Yeah, it goes way quick. Um, so it's kind of weird. I it just... says drink fresh or age at cellar temp. 55 degrees. Eh, right it's about 50. Yeah, yeah. It was out of the display cooler. Yeah. And it was bottled on 620, so about two months old from bottling date. Let's go ahead. Um, the appearance, uh, it's a stout. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. It's, it's black. black. It's got some really mocha tight white bubbles. So let's dive into the nose. Holy booze bomb, Batman. Yeah, just a little bit. Like dark fruits and freaking fusel of like fusel tart, almost tart. Yeah, I get it. It's definitely fusel alcohol. Um, I I do get a lot of chocolate. Uh, yeah, and oak. This fusel alcohol just reminds me of bad whiskey. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it's it's like we're about to try the Central Waters Cherry Bourbon Barrel Stout. It oh. smells like it could be a handful of pennies. Yeah, I'm serious man. That it thing smells was slightly straight, metallic. That thing was straight roll of nickels in your mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, I get whiskey, oak, um, chocolate. Not a lot of like char notes, right? No, Not definitely no coke, pecans, man. no rye spiciness. Uh, a lot of dark fruits, like like. Uh, Craisins, almost. They're they're wannabe raisins, but they have this tart, juicy character. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're getting the fusel to translate. Yeah, the it's, tart it's a little weird, bit. man. It's weird. Let's try it. Taste it. Thanks so much for picking it up. Man, shit on West Coast beers day. We're really good at that, eh, Joe? This tasted really good for about two seconds. Yeah, not even. Um, Second I was and like, a half. <laughs> like, I drank it, and I was like, "Oh, this mouth feels delightfully." Oh uh, yes, yes. Oh, uh, never mind. Never uh, mind. Um, the, um, I, I don't hate it. I, I get a lot of those toasted pecans in the in the definitely. Uh, I mean, it's, it's like, like a like, mouth feel. Yeah, it's like medium, medium thin. Mm. Um, Thins out and dries out real oh, harshly at the end. Big ass chocolate though. I just got this like. Wave of like uh, Baker's Bitter chocolate, yes, yes, Baker's cocoa powder, if um, you will. It's no brownie batter, it's not even no good. central water 16. Um, you get the barrel at the end, in my opinion, is like the worst way. It's unnecessary. Um, Based out, this would be all right. You know, I bet you it is pretty okay. Uh, Big bitterness. Big alcohol legs, too. Big, yeah, big alcohol legs. Yeah, big, big ass stone bitterness. Those. And then just really dry alcohol at the end. And it's just hot barrel action. Not the good kind. I, do you think it'll sell her well, at least? Um, I think a lot of people fancy cellar people this People love to sell her them. People also love to sell her stone OG RAS. This cellar's like a fucking champ, though. I've had like a six year, seven year old bottle and when it's still side like by it. the, side by side that with other R IRSs though, like you take like, like a founders. Oh, or, oh yeah, yeah. Not it even just close. it tastes weird mm -hmm. by comparison. Mm -hmm. Um standalone it tastes great. But when Hey that Anis version though. That Anis is really good. Um, um this is not very good. Um it is going down my um suckle quite well. 
Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's drinkable once you get past that whole bitter. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you buy like a 90% chocolate bar and you bite off too much, you're supposed to suck on it, but <laughs> you're you like, chew it. Fuck! Yeah, you sit there and you kind of look in the face for a second. That's what this reminds me of. The touch of like cheap whiskey at the end. It doesn't, I mean, I know we can't really pinpoint whiskeys and I'm sure they use nice barrels at Stone. They've got a fuck ton of money. But um, I just don't get anything too exciting about this yeah, like well, I, I mean if you to... brought this to my bachelor party and it wasn't you it was like fucking somebody who knows nothing about beer you'd be like great nice gesture he's, thanks he's so he's much good. for thinking about me and thinking that i you know i like barrel aged stouts really cool artwork and label cool concept i really like will beaten oh yeah. but um will beaten. yeah you like that white whales on the wheel well the white whales um quick so Cream. to put this on par with other ba stouts we haven't been huge fans of Clown cheese is better than this. Yeah. Um, darkness is better than this. Well, darkness is actually a little better. Darkness is a great beer. In That's itself, a whole other thing. But barrel, barrel variation, aged darkness is better than barrel this. Barrel variation on darkness is crazy disgusting. So some mm. this year they're doing a full full uh, 100% barrel aged batch. Fuck it up. Gonna be fifty dollars. Three Floyd's prices, I bet. Hey, you saw they're selling 2010 at the Brewer's Table for 50 bucks a pop. Shit, great. man. Great. <laughs> great. I don't I don't know how to grade this. I struggle. Um, you know, I, maybe I, you sell her this. People are, like, collecting the whole set. set. Yeah, cool. We did, did we even see two? I don't think we no, saw we two, two We saw one. Two was, like, some magical place. I had place two with Barry, I want to say, and I think I liked it. Um, so maybe best. it cellars and it cools down and blends a little bit, because um, it needs a lot of like coming together. This is like gamer nerd beer, or tabletop theater nerd beer, like, oh my god, you my god, you know? Have you watched tabletop? It's awesome. actually sweet. No, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, if I did that and did a lot of that, I would fucking seek this out, just based on who's on the cover of it. Label marketing geniuses. Uh, Greg knows how to. Let's go to a score. Um, I'm going to give this. SMHO. 79. Woo! Like, I'm know, shitting on it too. I'm going 77. This is. Like, it's just eh. This is a kid with potential, you know, that can do better. Um, yeah. He you didn't know, get the gold, the fifth gold star on his weekly report card, so he didn't get the right, happy meal. You know, he sits in the back of the class yeah, with his hands like backwards, this. and they go, John, quit doodling. I mean, random kid. Stop God doodling. damn it, Eric. Yeah. Eric, get your shit together. Uh, yeah, I and mean, this is beer one, and we're not liking this. Uh, this could get better, but I mean, it's going to make it Are up to like... Are snobs? You know, sometimes. Uh, like, I'm seriously wondering, like, have we gotten that elitist that this isn't good it depends on the mood but <laughs> you know this is it's okay it's 10 How bucks much for was that it? Bar. 10 bucks 10 bones um <sighs> i'd like to point out that quads of golden nugget are also 10 bones which we're gonna eat or drink can you eat none yeah we'll try, we'll try. all um, right um yeah have a good one <laughs> don't buy that one no. why don't you wait the for the just hang out for no one like, it's here yeah, just hang out for fall. He catch that reference? Hoonits. Hoonits. Like Hoona. Hoona Hoos. Ah, see. Those 